Hi everyone. So since posting that picture of me wearing this gorgeous Eternity scarf, I've received a lot of requests to make a tutorial. So I'm just going to make a quick one. And I'm sitting here on my couch um, because this is where the best lighting is, but I'm kind of like leaning on the couch here. So hopefully I'll be able to make a simple tutorial with it. So here is the gorgeous Eternity scarf. Looks a lot like a shimmery, but is a silky gorgeous scarf. Um, and I'm going to tie it as if I'm doing a beginner's luck tichel, aka one side shorter and one side longer than the other. In the photo, I had it at a bit of an angle at the front of my head, and you really don't need to do that. Um, you can make it straight as you want, but I will try it at a bit of an angle just to start. So one side, this side is longer, and this side is shorter. Wait, which side did I do? Yes, okay, I'm trying to remember what I actually did. You know, there's a really funny story about this tichel tie, actually. Um, I was, you know, as many of you know, I just had my second child, and I was lamenting to my husband um, in the morning that I had not come up with a new tichel tie for a while, and I was like, I wonder if I still got it. Um, and then Yehudas was going to come over to take a photograph of some tichels, and as I'm playing around with this eternity tichel for her to take a, a photo of, I came up with that wrap. So it was a really happy thing because I was um, kind of worried that I wasn't coming up with any good tichel ties lately because I've done so many over the years. And lo, lo and behold, there's always something new you can do with tichel time. Okay, so so what did I say? So the long now bring the longer. Basically, this is kind of like um, a waterfall twist a little bit um, and a beginner's luck, except much more fancy. Oh, and sorry, what I did, I'm so distracted today. What I did in the photo is I had a headband um, around. And since the little flowery, poofy part is going to be on this side, you can put the headband kind of on, um, on the side so it comes a little longer down the other side. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Okay. And then what you want to do is not do what I just did. Um, you want to be careful with your headband, depending on which headband you're using, not to catch it in any of the rhinestone type grooves. Okay, so oh, it's so dreary outside today. Um, so the lighting is just really bad in my apartment, but we're gonna do our best here. Uh, hopefully this works, come on computer. Get me some more light. Okay, I will do my best even if the light is not too good. There, that's much better. Okay, so now I'm gonna tie, and I'm sorry, and I'm gonna bring the short end up around the front to make that tie. So basically tie it so that short end that was right here comes out in the front. And this long part here is just going to sit and it's going to lie down here and now this is what you have to play with in order to make that really pretty flower so you want it nice and high and basically now because i put this on an angle i have like a nice area to tuck it all underneath so as you can see it's really not a difficult tichel tie um, it's just requires a little adjustment at the end okay so i'm going to take that top part and tuck that underneath. There you go. And don't worry about it at the beginning. You will be able to adjust it to your heart's content. And take that. Because if you, I hope you are wearing your shaper underneath, um, it will stay quite nicely. Okay. Now that's a nice little, you can basically, the way the secret to this tie is that the tichel itself actually folds really beautifully. And so I'm going to tuck this underneath as well and this one is actually a bit of a bigger flower type thing than the one I have in the photo but you can make it bigger or smaller depending on what you want and then you just want to get all anything fringy tucked away Let's see if I can do this. this is more difficult to do than in a mirror because I'm on my computer and I really can't see very well So keep tuck, tuck, tucking away. And now I have that gorgeous little flower thing. Not little, it's a big flower thing. Front and, oh, so these little fringes are going to be the bane of my existence, I can see in this video. It worked really well when I did it for the photo. 
Okay. Are they all gone? Yes. So there you go. And if you want to make it more like the photo, you can just not have it as big underneath here and tuck this end a little more by the ear. And it is quite secure. And you want it to be nice and flat. And this back end I'm going to tuck here. Ooh, this is even nicer. I like that. Okay, there you go. So that is, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Um, we will figure out what it's going to, what we're going to call it. And just, you know, really make sure the rest of it is nice and neat. That is one side. And this is the other side. There you go. That's it. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.